Dar from Dar's Divine Connections here with my fur buddy, Dusty Boy. And we're here today to talk about the human energy system and more specifically the sixth chakra, commonly called the third eye chakra or the all seeing eye. This chakra is located in the brow line, so the center of the forehead between the eyebrows. What I find is interesting is that on further study, this energy center has some other uh, places that different cultures uh, attribute it to. So there are two smaller chakras, one above each eyebrow that are sometimes drawn as part of the seeing eye. And then also the Aztecs and some other healers place them on the side, like where we have our temples, on the side of the eye, similar to the animals. So perhaps you've seen pictures of this. For our purpose, though, this chakra is located here in the center of the forehead. And this is the recognized symbol for it. It vibrates at a deep indigo blue, or sometimes called a navy blue, deep navy blue. It is more the color of a midnight sky. It is, its main element is ether or light. It is all about the ability to perceive. It includes, um, probably as you know or have heard, it includes psychic abilities, it includes clear perspectives, uh, intuition, lucid dreaming, visions, insights, and overall being able to see the bigger picture. So when dealing with life struggles, the bigger picture becomes very important. So problems related to this chakra would include sinus, sinus issues, any vision problems, migraines, things like hallucinations, uh, bipolar, lack of imagination, or lack of seeing a bigger picture in any given situation. It's also connected to the endocrine system and your nervous system. So what can we do to strengthen the third eye? Well, if you look on Pinterest or you Google it, there are many, many exercises out there. It's quite a big topic. But here are a few of my favorite and some of the easiest ones. Gentle tapping, gentle tapping here uh, in the middle of the forehead, gentle tapping on the corner of the eye, gentle tapping under the eye. So these would all be frequency tapping points that would be a benefit. Another one would be the um, imagining that there are shutters, horizontal shuttle, shutters along the eye, like it's shut the eye. And then you can take a crystal, preferably a clear quartz crystal, but this, this could be a smoky quartz, uh, amethyst, any kind of crystal and use the side of it so that it's gentle and just kind of pretend that you are flipping up the shutters. Just flip up the shutters. 
and visualize that. And envision that those horizontal shutters are slowly lifting and that this is opening. You can also apply any um, intuition exercises like meditation and visualization. Um, a good one is free writing, where you write down anything and everything that comes into your mind without editing and just kind of pour all your thoughts, all your thoughts out onto the paper. Overall, the chakras um, any overall any of the chakras that we talk about can be cleared and cleaned and balanced with concentrating on your breathing, setting clear intentions, and visualization. So here we are talking about the sixth chakra and we've been doing vis visualizations all along. So hopefully you're kind of building on them. You've got your visualization for your root and then your visualization for your sacral and your visualization for your solar plexus and your visualization for your heart and your visualization for your throat. And now together we're at the third eye. So let's take a minute or two to set a clear intention to work with our third eye chakra to help clean and, and clear and balance it. So let's just sit up straight, feet on the floor, and relax. Breathe in calmness. Breathe in relaxation. And then breathe out any tension or stress in your entire body. So breathing in through the nose, feeling calmness throughout your entire body, feeling relaxation all the way from the top of your head to the bottom of your Feel all parts of your body relax. Your toes relax. Your ankles. Your calves. Your thighs. Your hips. Your stomach. All relaxing, your rib cage, your chest, your neck, your jaw, your eyes. Feel your head begin to droop and your shoulders begin to drop. Now bring your attention to your eyebrows and your forehead, making sure that they are totally relaxed. Perhaps lift and lower your eyebrows. Now imagine a light headband made of beautiful indigo indigo blue light wrapped around your forehead and encircling from front to back of your head. Begin to visualize it gently spinning in a clockwise direction. Left to right, left to right, Setting the clear intention to clean, clear, and balance the energy. While spinning any toxins, spinning any debris, spinning any negative energy 
including any negative thoughts, out of the way and off your body, falling like rain into the earth to be recycled by Mother Earth. Spin, spin, and clear. When you're ready, bring the spinning to a stop and feel the lightness and clarity. Other items specific to strengthening the third eye are different types of stones and crystals, the opal, azurite, and lapis lazuli are very popular. Sounds would be the seed sound of OM. I bet you've heard that one before. And singing bowls, crystal bowls, chimes, tuning forks, as well as the beautiful sound of the harp. Those are all effective tools for, sh for strengthening this chakra. Some scents or essential oils would include rosemary, clary sage, yin yang, and star essence, to name just a few. The planet Jupiter is also associated with this chakra. When working with vibrational energy and the third eye, the indigo ray is what I connect with. And Archangel Raphael comes in. And that is one of the more well-known angels of healing. And Raphael appears um, sometimes male, sometimes female. It just kind of depends what the client, the individual client needs. Um, if the client needs strength or if the client needs more nurturing. Raphael can be called on to help with the third eye and often sparkles in kind of an emerald green color. Um, if you remember back to the heart chakra, the emerald green of the heart. So Raphael kind of will catch your eye with a little bit of emerald green sparkle. And the, um, The help is not just, I was trying to think of how to word this, but the help is not just the spiritual body, um, which you think of with the third eye quite often, but it is also the physical body, the entire physical body, because I mentioned the endocrine system and the nervous system earlier and migraines, of course, and headaches. So they can come, she can come in or he can come in uh, to help with addictions and headaches and comes in on a very loving, kind, gentle, sweet type of energy. It is also common for Archangel Raphael to come in and team up with Archangel Michael, another well-known Archangel. And together they can help move like sluggish energy, negativity, um, different addictions, and that more heavy um, energy of struggle. And they work together with clearing and cleaning that. So overall, there's lots of information about the chakra and tons of information about the third eye, exercises to improve it and open it and to work with it. So you'll um, have an abundance of information out there to look at. But 
Thank you so much for letting me share my knowledge and my experience with you during this time. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, be sure to email me at darsdivineconnections.com. Be assured that I answer my emails personally. So until next time, Dusty and I say blessings your way and thanks for joining us.